Welcome to Chemistry with Caroline. In this video, we're going to look at how to name acid halides. So acid halides are another carboxylic acid derivative. They've got a halide at this terminal position here. So in this case, I have a chlorine. This is going to be an acid chloride. But you could have bromine, fluorine, iodine, any of those could be in that position as well for generic acid halides. You're going to start numbering at the carbonyl carbon and number the longest chain. So in this example, I have a four carbon chain. The acid halide is going to be terminal because of the nature of the functional group. It's a carbonyl with a halide on the end, so we don't need to use a locant when we name it. The way that this changes the name is the end E is going to be replaced with OYL, oil, and then we'll have the word chloride in this case. So this is butanoil, there's my replacement there, and then a space, and the word chloride. So this tells me that I have an acid chloride, and then the butte part tells me that I have four carbons in that chain. All right, so I want to do one more example. In this case, I have substituents. Those would go out front in alphabetical order. And I have now a bromine and not a chlorine at that terminal position. So this is going to be a bromide as opposed to a chloride. If it was a fluorine, it would be a fluoride. So one, two, three, four, Five. So this is going to be a pentanoyl bromide. And then I'd have my substituents out in front in alphabetical order. So that would be 3-bromo, 2-methyl, then I have a 5-carbon chain. So pentanoyl space, the word bromide. So this tells me I have 5 carbons. This tells me that I have the functional group of an acid bromide. And these in the very front are my substituents. So this has been a look at how you name acid halides. If you like this video and you found it helpful, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Thanks.